it's worth learning commentary and it helps with uh speech as well in public speaking i think that's a pretty valuable skill to learn so i'm just gonna do this right now through g1 damn i put up <laughs> no oh why'd i do that i put up lucia this gamer be lucia versus nl kuma this seems like a matchup that's going to be in Akuma's favor, just for the sheer fact that Akuma's just more of a complete character than Lucia. And I'll already taking Gamer to be Gamer to the B, Gamer B to the corner. Gamer B slowly trying to fight out, gets confirmed with the low forward, and I'll starting to play the mid range a little bit more. You see that NL, he doesn't really throw a lot of fireballs. He'll throw them as a poke, but he won't necessarily use them to establish a fireball game. More so just to establish a threat that's outside of his button range. Just keep Gamer B on his toes. I like that punish from NL. Using the meter to make sure he closes up the round. If uh, Gamer B was crouching there, if he did jab, jab, medium tattoo, the crouching, ta the crouching hit tattoo, it wouldn't have hit. Some good shit, there, good shit there from NL. Oh, huge jump in. Gamer B not ready for the jump in. You saw the counter hit there. He tried to anti-air. Just a little bit too late. Oh, yeah, that's that. That was optimal, too. He did back fierce uh, light DP. He saw that the stun was racking up. There's going to be a guess for game situation here. Overhead's health away. Decides to go for a throw instead. Very dominant round. Yeah, he just isn't he isn't too active with the fireballs. As I said, he's just trying to make sure he gets these uh gets gamer B on his toes. Now defending in the corner. With punishes in the flame kick. Decides just to go for pressure. He doesn't want to force any mind games out in the wake up. Gamer B's flame kick going over the low. Containing NL in the corner. Still pressuring. He's not trying to pressure NL per se. He's just trying to make sure he contains him. Because you get a lot more damage. And you'll get a, a lot more bang for your buck if you just try to contain someone in the corner instead of uh, try to rush them down. Just something uh, a lot of lower level players make mistakes on. Another dominant round from NL. But as I was saying, a lot of lower level players, they'll like to decide to rush down their opponent in the corner. Unaware of uh, their escape options, they'll just try to get hits in. They won't necessarily get the damage they want. Back to the match here. And now flubbed up his cross cut there. Now stuck in the corner. Forward throw. Tried to go for an overhead there. Maybe. Or maybe that was an input error. I don't watch a lot of Lucia. Oh. Goes to the late cancer. Cancer. Late cancel. Stan Fears target combo. Tries to get the cancel. Walking under those red. Those air fireballs. I'm making a lot of mistakes. In my speech. Easy. Good low confirm there. Hasn't gone through for a lot of throws yet on wake up. And now probably saving them just for the crucial moments that he needs. He's just going to choose to push Gamer B to the corner with some hits instead. Back throw and try to get him in the corner. Gamer B trying to walk him down. Get stuck on another button. And now just going for safe pressure there, trying to contain. Gamer B now back throws, trying to contain NL in the corner. Trying to get some good hits in. Flame kick. Jumps in. Oh! Very smart delay there. That was an opportune moment for NL to get back thrown in the corner. But Gamer B was just one step ahead. He said, I know you're going to delay thick here, so I'm going to delay my stand fierce or stand strong. Get a counter hit. Smart stuff from Gamer B. Another wave punish on the flame kick. Stopping the flame kick with the fireball. Gamer B's flame kicks have not been too good. And NL's been one step ahead with punishing them and stuffing them. But now NL in the corner. Gamer B still trying to contain. Those back throws do a lot of damage for a Gamer B. Coming with the low health. And lots of back throws in this game actually doing more damage. And more stun. And building more meter. Goes for the side switch, the middle of the side switch, the meme side switch. And is not afraid of the uh, loss of damage there because he's at V-Trigger 1. There's 
tons of opportunities to make something happen. And there it is. Counter hit. Doesn't get anything off of it, though. He only gets a good knockdown. Good anti tier DP. Good whiff punish from NL. Gonna be taking Gamer B to the corner. NL whiffing a lot of buttons. Another good low confirm. He's so strong with that confirm. 16 frames. Good to delay stand strong. He's gonna try to take NL to the corner here. He's gonna take his throw. And I'll activate trigger now. There could be Raging Demon here. That would be a pretty good way to close out the round. He could do Air Fireball Dash Demon. Not sure yet. Oh, I'll try to go for Double Dash Demon there. I don't know what was that. Doesn't matter though. I guess the counter hit. Uh, low forward into a stand jab. They nerfed that. Used to be able to get a stand medium kick, but now. You can only get a stand jab there. Good shit. Good shit. Good. Shit. Where is NL Akuma? There are not a lot of Akuma matches from NL, which is scaring me. I should have checked this. Um, sorry, hold on. Everybody close your eyes. Alright. Here we go. We'll use this match. What Ryu is he playing again? Just Fog, alright. Uh, Just Fog is a pretty strong online warrior from Japan. Plays Ryu, he's been playing Ryu since uh, the game's release, I think. This is a weird option. Just Fog's the one walking uh, an L back. Typically in this match, a Ryu's gonna be trying to zone uh, Kuma. Just like that. Oh my gosh. Just like that, Just Fog already has pushed uh, an L to the corner. Very threatening ground game. Just to get a knockdown with the EX Fireball there doesn't work out. Now, Just Fog can kind of put the life lead here. I don't think he's going to try to continue in the corner because he's just got such a big life lead. He's going to be probably walking back a bit more. Oh, I'll give a punish on the stin, uh, on the crouch forward there. Oh. Uh. Oh my gosh. What a car what a crouch strong there. Delaying it just to catch a button or a throw. Stuttering a lot. <laughs> yeah, just fog walking NL down once more. Might be a different game plan here. Oh, Checks the negative frames on the crash medium kick. It's very good stuff from NL. Another low confirm. He's really good at that. He's been practicing that, it seems. Oh, another low confirm. Catches the extended hurt box of the X Fireball. Just Fog now with V Trigger trying to establish some more pressure. He's able to throw a little bit more fireballs. Oh, and I'll try to parry, make sure he wasn't getting pushed out by the fireball. Just Fog deleted it a little bit. And now, baiting him with the. Jump in Tatsu. Fucked up NL's A tier. Good shit. This is weird. This is really weird. Whoa. That was a good parry. But this is really weird. Typically, Ryu players are going to be the ones walking back against Akuma. Akuma's with the low health. He can't really tank a lot of fireball hits and... You know, Ryu being more of a turtly fireball character is usually going to be walking backwards, but Just Fog's been putting a lot of the work in. Speaking of work, huge combo there. NL almost at stun. Just Fog really wants to start putting up the pressure now, making sure the stun doesn't go down. A little too late for that, though. This isn't going to be a stun this round, I don't think. Alright, good knockdown. Takes the throw. Oh boy, here we go. DP, it's going to be a guess for game situation here with the Raging Demon. Decides not to go for it though. Oh! And I would have been able to block that Tatsu in time, but I think he just held forward just a little bit. And still got clipped. A little bit of a fuck up on NL's part, but it didn't really matter too much. Not really. 
Fireball, fireball. Looks like Just Fog is starting to walk back a little bit more. He's starting to play the part in this matchup. Might start working out better for him. Good whiff punish from NL. Whoa. Calling up the throw with the light DP. Fucked combo. NL starting to push Just Fog to the corner. He's got his back. He's got a part in his back a little bit. Just Fog's going to be looking for this activation. Got the activation. DP. Going to go for a little bit of pressure, and then he's going to start uh, zoning out with the... Uh, Zoning out NL with the V-Trigger 1 Fireballs. Yep. Turn on plus and pressure. Oh. NL is just getting hit by every single one of these Fireballs. Another one. Health is low. A tap will do it. Yep. There it is. Looks like the change in pace that Just Fog has put out has been working for him. Oh. And I'll try to go for a nasty dive kick there. He tried to uh, make Just Fog question whether or not it hit in the front of the back. Just Fog was able to walk under though. Dash throw. He's just playing it safe. He's not going to go for another mix. He's just trying to contain him. And I'll got antsy, jumped out of the corner, got stunned by the DP in the round. This has been working out pretty well for Just Fog, I must say. Big Tatsu. Oh, he's getting hit by everything. And now kind of staying on the same pace here. Just Fog has really adapted to when he wants to press buttons. And I'll go in for a ballsy walk up back throw. Just Fog <laughs> coward copying coptering <coughs> out the corner. Back to the seat deal. Alright, Just Fog's looking like he's doing pretty well in this matchup so far. The changing uh Gameplay style has really helped out. NL's going to have to make some sort of an adaptation. He doesn't want the game to end this fast. Good cross cut. Just walked with a back dash there. Oh, yeah. NL's been incorporating a lot more walk-up throws. Just Fog now being a little bit scared of the walk-up throw. Starting to press buttons outside of that throw range. And NL's been taking full advantage. Starting to use the crush counters. And the very meaty buttons to... Uh, Get him out. Just Fox trying to work on a comeback here. Just going to start hucking away some fireballs. And now doesn't really have to do anything. I don't even know if that was an input error or if he intentionally tried to hop over the fireball. That was probably supposed to be regular stand fierce, but the forward fierce worked out and he just hopped over it. Just Fox probably be pissed. I'd be pissed. Oh my god. Now there's something to really be pissed out about. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Spending meter there for no reason. Didn't really have to spend the meter there. Alright. This is really weird. It might have... I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on anymore. Weird decisions are being made on both ends. Especially NLs. He's using the parries, the neutral. Spending a meter for a side switch mid-screen. Just Fog's working on the comeback. Not gonna happen. Confirms with the crouch medium kick into super. NL takes that game. Good stuff. Yeah, that's... And L1, by the way, it was versus two. All right, um. No, no, I want to watch NL. Um. Haga Doken versus NL. This will be a show. Dan, in this version of the game, uh. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, a couple words Adderall. Uh. Insane up close. Very spastic. And uh, he builds V-Meter very quickly. With Dan's taunt cancel system, he uh, builds lots of V-Meter on block. Every time he cancels a normal, he builds a little bit of V-Meter. And that, in turn, is almost building him a full bar. He almost built a bar in the corner, if you're watching. Oh, NL tried to parry there. Didn't work out for him, though. Tried to get a punish on the knee. DP. Hagaoken almost building enough meter. He's going to activate soon. I assume he's just going to try to keep pressuring him in the corner. And then once he gets put in a bad spot, yep. Once he gets put in a bad spot, he would activate. So he went for the sweep there. He wanted to get as much white health on NL as possible so he could cash out with another mix. Good, very good play. Once you're stuck in the corner against Dan, it's kind of fucked. Kind of fucked. 
Alright. Good DP. And now doesn't know what he wants to do, it looks like. Oh, he thought he would catch the extended hurtbox of the low jab. Didn't work out for him. He's going to be using the hard Dan kicks to try to get him to the corner. Oh, yeah, this pressure's working out really good for Hagadoken. Oh, my God. Chill. Almost building a full V-trigger. Now has a full V-trigger. Hagadoken knows he can just V-shift out. Doesn't want to deal with any corner mix. Oh, boy. DP's through. Doesn't want to deal with any of that. Tried to catch another V-shift. Hagadoken now V-shifts. Two misconfirms. Doesn't matter, though. And I could take this round. Oh, he made Hagadoken break with the throw. Very good throw bait there. And now able to clutch that match out. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Almost got a whiff punish there. Wasn't quite fast enough. Gonna be pressuring NL. Whenever I watch high level Dane play, I don't even know if this character is bad because Hagidoken makes him look so scary up close. He already has a V trigger built. Gonna be getting a little chip here. Wants to try to contain NL. All the white health being built right now. Oh boy, that was like a throw. A throws for the health. Good low confirm. And now is trying to take the plus frames there. Hagadouken. Try to view reversal out there. And now is one step ahead. Not quite dead for Hagadouken. Alright, now it is. Catching him with the low. Hagadouken. This pressure is insane. And now is defensive and pretty good. Not really breaking to a lot of uh, Dan's stuff. Gets a counter hit confirm off the light Dan kick. Oh, parries! Another light Dan kick. That's good meter for NL. The parries build a V meter. Hagadoken. Oh, with the big throw bait! Basically taking it out of the corner right now. Try to EXTP out. And I'll having none of it. I mean, Hagadoken having none of it. This is going to be stun here. I was going to do. Ooh. Ooh. With two DPs to build some meter there. Hagadoken's playing really fast paced up close. That sounds like very dumb for me to point out. But uh that's kind of what's going on here. Big crush there. Fun fact that whenever Dan uh is canceling and he does a cancel and he does the stand fierce variant of the cancel. The crush counter will actually knock down instead of put him in a plus down stun state, which I think is interesting. More and more pressure from Hagadoken. And it doesn't look like he knows what he wants to do. Pushing him to the corner, though. Oh, he's really trying to bait a throw from Hagadoken. He's not biting, though. That would have been a huge confirm there. I think he missed it. Oh, boy. He missed a cancel. Saw the taunt come out there. He missed a cancel. And now with no resources and Hagadoken with all the resources in the world. This is anyone's game. Akuma's the strongest Shoto in the game right now versus the worst character in the game right now that nobody knows how to fight with full bar meter. Just slowly pushing out of the corner, trying to walk out. The pressure does so much... Oh. Pressure does so much for corner carry, on block especially. Why need a Oki when you can just push someone in the corner with cancels? Speaking of corner carry, using the heavy Dan kicks for the corner carry. Almost got him. Gonna confirm into V-Trigger on block. Oh, EXDP's out. And now trying to go for an activation with the sweep there. And I'll escape in the pressure. And this looks like a game for NL to take. Oh, good whiff punish. Text the throw. It's looking like NL's game. All he needs is one activation, and Hagadoken could be fucked. Tries to whiff punish with sweep again. Didn't work out. Not stealing it, though. 
Ooh, Agadokan. Sweeping out. NL was uh, down backing. Uh, trying to think that NL was... I mean, Hagadokan was going to wake up with a CA. Woo! Oh my gosh. Cool. That was sick. Got that Twitch Prime. Did you sub to me? I think you did. Did you? My channel. I don't think you did. All right. Good. Good shit from, uh, I get token. Good shit from NL. Ooh, I think we just watched this. We're the NL coffee addict versus NL. Who's coffee addict? This might be another Korean player. Alright. I won't mind watching this. Coffee Addict. Never heard of this guy before. UGM Kami player. Versus NL. Yeah, this is going to be a lot more of a slower paced match. It seems that Coffee Addict's tactic at the moment is just to try to poke at a long range and maybe walk in a little bit to get a big confirm. Oh. Yeah, try to keep some, try to get some uh, weird pressure there with the EXR Fireball. As you saw. And now with V Trigger, those gonna look for an activation. Excuse me? Alright. <laughs> He's gonna look for an activation soon. Just gonna be very patient. He has to navigate the stand medium kick from Kami. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be difficult. Oh, yes. NL one step, one step ahead, going for the whiff punish on stand medium kick. Guess for game here? Who won that? All right. <laughs> that EX drill almost killed Akuma, but the, uh, the air fireballs came to his rescue. If the second hit connected, uh, NL would have been dead there. Good low confirmed for Coffee Addict. And now Coward Captor Coptering out. Coffee Addict one step ahead here. And now using the corner carry on the EX Demon Flip. Spending a meter there just to try to get Coffee Addict in the corner. Coffee Addict now in the corner. Goes to the throw. Big activation from Coffee Addict. going to be taking this corner positioning. Oh, yeah. A bit more faster pace, uh, faster paced play here from Coffee. It looks like he's going to Try to secure this round very quickly. Checking the dash there. He's going to spend the meter right there. Doesn't want to leave uh, NL alive. And all with a full stock of the plasma, though. He's definitely willing to spend some meter, just as, as I was saying that. Spend some meter for a knockdown. A little bit of a health lead for NL. It's not a, a big deal for Coffee Addict. Music fading out. Not sure why. And on the corner. Coffee had to try to use a dash to keep NL. Uh, keep him off pace. Stand medium kick. Oh, whiff punish on stand fierce. It's going to be huge damage for NL. It's going to be a demon mix up here. Yup, yup, yup. Coffee addict guessing wrong. Not a big deal, though. He's got another game. Using the V-Skill 1 for a uh, faint cancel there, buffering the inputs behind it. And I'm looking like he's in the driver's seat. Coffee Addict fucking up the cancels. Good little confirm, though. Just gonna... Didn't confirm that there. Ooh. Yeah, Coffee hasn't been using that uh, Kami dive kick a lot. Been trying to play more grounded. Oh, that was an amazing confirm. Using the DP instead of the drill for more damage. And NL's going to be fighting for his life right now. That's stun. Nice. Very convincing round from uh, Coffee here. I'm not sure if this guy's a... What you call it, A Korean player or a... Uh, 
Japanese player. Oh. Misses the stand, medium kick confirm. Only has 14 frames to confirm that. Probably thought he had a whiff punish there. Checks the dash. Gonna be trying to push himself out the corner right now. Use the demon flip. <laughs> Use the demon flip dive kick to try to get over the edge of the fireball cancel. All right, and I was working on pushing. Coffee to the corner. It's gonna be a guess for game here. Nope. Actually, yeah. Yeah, this is guess for game situation right now with V trigger too. Yeah, that was a messed up situation. Cause even if he didn't uh, fall for the throw bait there, he... and also it would have still would have been plus because of the uh, V trigger fireball there. So very solid. Uh, decision making for Menno. Another crouch medium kick confirm. Tries to go for delay crouch medium punch there. Do you try to catch a delay button or delay throw? Didn't work out. All right. That was a really good option. That was a really good option to use the V shift break there. He was going to be catching the end of a fireball to react and push himself out the corner. Now pushing himself in the corner. And now getting pushed out of the corner here. Coffee addict. Things just work aren't working out for him. Ooh. Very ballsy. Oh, very ballsy idea to uh, press a button after the same medium kick. It worked out for him though because. Uh, but would have been the, the usual play from most Akuma players in that positioning. In that positioning. I'll go back to it. They would have went for stand medium kick into fireball. He had the V meter there. Uh, so it would have been... Uh, he would have been in a plus situation there. But uh, NL wanted to save his meter for another opportunity to use it. And Coffee Attic knew that he wasn't going to cancel into anything. Uh, so, this Kami player went for the bold option, pressing crouch, uh, medium kick. Where most Akuma players would end up spending meter for a fireball. They were ready. Caught him walking back. Didn't fall for the DP there. Smart! Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Fireball, fireball. Yeah, it looks like uh, NL is trying to play a little bit more with fireball. He's trying to catch the extended hurt box of the staying medium kick. The dreaded button. Oh. Oh. Guess for game. Yep. Use the light crouch medium punch to seal the deal. DP. Yep. Yup, yup, yup. At the beginning of the round there, you saw Akuma was throwing, uh, NL was using a lot of fireballs. He's probably not going to be using a lot of fireballs again. Coffee Attic knows this, but he was trying to catch the extended uh, hurt box of the stand medium kick. NL saw that Coffee Attic was going back for the same medium kick, so he started throwing the fireballs again. This is a perfect time for Coffee Attic to react with a uh, EX drill. So NL is trying to be using the fireballs in a way where... It's not predictable, but he'll still get them out, and it'll still be a, a little bit of a threat for Coffee Attic to deal with. I wouldn't be surprised if I were to see an EX Drill reaction. And now has Coffee Attic in the corner, falling for another throw bait. Uh, I don't like those techs. A lot of players can take the throw against Akuma in the corner. Because there's not much he can do after. He can get some meaty button presses and a little bit more pressure. But very few Akumas will go throw a throw. It's negative by the frames anyways. Let's see. Where are... Fujimura Kami versus NL. This is our version, yeah. Game 1. Game 2. A little quiet. This is going to be a lot of the same stuff that we saw last round. Uh, Fujimore is a really strong Japanese player. Uh, he's a Buki in season 3 and 2 and 4. Quite notable. Switching to Kami now. 
Ibuki might be a little too weak for Fuji. Can't be the strongest card in the game after all. Oh, good drill out. Catching the fireball. Yep. Fujimura is kind of going to be playing the driver's seat right now. He has uh, an Alcatan in the corner. Not anymore, though. It was with the side switch. Dash, dash. Ooh. Fujimura is going to be looking for an activation right now. So NL is trying to play outside that range. Catches Fuji walking forward. He confirms it in the critical art. Very strong stuff. Aware of every option and trying to cover all of them. And playing very safe. That's uh, something NL is pretty famous for. A lot of Korean players kind of... You can't really option select in this game. But a lot of the uh, Asian players will tend to play a lot more reserved than the Americans or the uh, the Brits, the EU players. Oh, big stand for confirm. That's the premier option to use. Cami Crouch Fierce. Missing two confirms. And LD being at the corner. He's going to be looking for an activation soon. Fujimura knows this, so he's going to be trying to stay outside the range. Oh! This guess for game right now. Could go for demon, could not. Wakes up jab. Wow. Huh, the fireball kill before the CA. And a little bit antsy with the buttons. Fujimura's making big work out of that. Oh, he's starting to poke out now. Changing up his rhythm a little bit. Ooh, big throw. And he'll playing a lot more patient, not throwing out as many buttons. Not getting... Okay, never mind. Just trying to whip punish stuff preemptively. It's pretty hard to whip punish Akuma Stand medium kick anyway, so... I'm not going to knock on him for that decision. Very dominant round from Fujimura in the neutral and in the mid-range. Oh boy. Currently, NL is poking at the max range with his buttons, then canceling into a light red fireball. It's a safe block string that builds a, a considerable amount of chip. Oh boy. Fujimura is ready, jumped out. Good DP. It's going to back there. I'm trying to contain him in the corner right here. Going to take full advantage. What? Was that like four throws in a row? Are you kidding me? And I was poking a lot with his medium buttons. That stand medium kick seems to be a problem for Fujimura to deal with, and and I'll land it. It's pretty big deal for Fujimura. It's a shit. That's gonna be CA to death. We'll skip forward now. Tatsu confirm. Fujimura already in the corner. He's going to pardon us back. Alright, looks like he's working. Catching uh, Manel pressing buttons and catching him low. Being able to push him to the corner. He had pressing more low buttons. Ooh, I like the movement there from Manel. He was really trying to look for a button. He knew that Fujimura was trying to activate there, so he was just trying to move in and out. Waiting for a button to be pressed. Oh. Ooh, big stand fierce. Amazing confirm. I don't know if this is death or not. It's probably not. Okay, it might. Never mind. Guess for game here. Ooh, big whiff punish. 
I know it's going to be looking for something huge now. Activation. Guess for game. Tries to go for a throw. Doesn't want to spend any of his meter on the demon. Now Fujimura has enough meter to survive a chip situation. So, and I was aware. Uh. Oh! Is this kill? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like that. I like that option a lot. There wasn't anything Fujimura could have done to escape there because he didn't have any V-meter. So he just did it. He waited for a button to be whiffed and he did it just to ensure that Fujimura wouldn't have been able to recover and like cooligan out or anything. Not sure that he could have hooliganed out, but just making sure. Jab punish. Good look, confirm. And he's not going to be taking the side switch there. He's got a lot of health to lose. So he isn't really trying to make anything big happen here. But Fujimura now in the driver's seat. Gonna just trying to be chipping away at NL's life. At I guess we're getting situation for NL. He's gonna probably be activating soon. Looking for either a button to be whiffed or some pressure to be pressuring with. Fujimura can just stay back right now. Nothing to commit to. Yeah, NL tried to check a, a forward dash there. He thought he'd be able to catch the recovery, but Fujimura recovered just in time. So NL empty cancel that stay in medium kick. A lot of the same stuff happening this match. Just a lot of buffers from each side. Ooh. Oh, no. Huge punish for Fujimori. He's gonna, gonna be using the uh, V-Trigger to get... He's gonna be using the V-Skill to get some V-Trigger right there. At a guess for game situation, he V-Reversals out. Very cheap V-Reversal. And L still in the driver's seat. No V-Trigger comeback for Fujimori. Looks like it's gonna be this round. Yeah, and he's gonna confirm with the stand jab. Counter hit and the crouch forward in the CA.